What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to address two important things. The first one is going to be about Pangu, the Pangu jailbreak team. And then we're going to discuss about iOS 10.3.1 that was released a couple of days ago, but I only decided to talk about it right now because it wasn't that important. But there are a couple of things you need to know. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the fact that Pangu is going to be on ZeroCon, which is a conference for exploit developers and bug hunters. They are uh, acting as speakers in this um, conference and they are going to talk about exploitation, but not on iOS. This time they're going to talk about uh, exploiting macOS Sierra kernel. Again, the kernel of the uh, macOS, including the macOS Sierra, is somehow related to the kernel from the iOS. There are a couple of um, things that are shared, so knowing how to attack the Mac, Mac OS Sierra's kernel would definitely be uh, important if you want to start developing kernel exploits for the iOS. As I said, they're both based on the um, XNU kernel, which is somehow uh, at the base of iOS in OS 6. Anyways, they're also going to, um, to hold some trainings and this is why it is important. I'm going to go ahead on here on the trainings section and they're going to keep a training, you can see here the trainer is Pangu team, about advanced 64-bit iOS kernel exploitation, which is therefore something iOS related at the, uh, at the end. Going in here into the schedule on zerocon.org, I'm going to link this training uh, page in the description for those of you who are interested to see what is going to contain. It says here the title will, would be uh, Advanced 64-bit iOS kernel exploitation and it's going to contain iOS security and development basics, iOS kernel reverse engineering, kernel exploit mitigations, common kernel vulnerability categories, being the kernel exploit uh, techniques, um, heap feng shui, rope, GOP bypass of the key, uh, KPP, which is kernel patch protection, and exploitation labs and yeah, other things related. Anyways, uh, this is going to be uh, very pricey, so I don't think you can attend anymore. There is, the registration is over, as you can see from here. But as you can see, it's a little bit pricey, so for that price, I think they're going to present something pretty damn important. Now, why do I present this? What does this have to do with jailbreaking. Well, we're speaking about Pangu team that hasn't been active for over a year and we all thought they're not uh, into iOS anymore, you know, they left, they they no longer interested in jailbreaking, but apparently they're going to, to actually have this talk on zero con, which means they're still active in the background and they're still doing things, which also means we can um, definitely put our hope into Pangu for future jailbreaks, considering the fact that now more than ever we need more developers on the jailbreaks, assuming the fact that Luca Tedesco has left, as he said he is no longer going to, to make a public jailbreak after the experience he had with iOS 10.x Yalu jailbreak in the community, and therefore we need more than ever these developers, including Pangu team who has brought uh, jailbreaks for iOS 7, iOS 8, iOS 9, unfortunately not iOS 10. Let's now go to the firmware page and we're discussing about iOS 10.3.1. Why? Well, it's an important update, even though it's very, very small, it was released only after one beta, which is not something very strange for Apple, but it's definitely not usual. Usually uh, they have more than one beta. And remember when we, when we thought iPhone 5 and iPhone 5C were dropped because the beta itself was peculiarly available only for iPhone 5S and up? Well, apparently it wasn't, and this is why. If you go here to the uh, security contents of the iOS 10.3.1, you can see that the uh, the only thing that this iOS 10.3.1 does, and this is the reason why the beta has actually been seeded three days after iOS 10.3 was released, is a Wi-Fi bug. And I'm going to uh, quote from here, description, uh, a stack buffer overflow was addressed for off improved input validation. And the impact was an attacker within the range, which means close to you or close to your device, may be able to execute arbitrary code on the uh, Wi-Fi chip. That's not something you would like to happen on your device, trust me. And the uh, availability of this uh, bug, of this exploit, was on iPhone 5 and later, which means they had to push an iPhone 5 update as well, as this Wi-Fi related exploit wasn't the best thing to happen to you. 
and then therefore they push the update. I do not know if they're going to actually make a new version of the uh, iOS 10.x. Also, I also think they uh, released the iOS 10.3.1 because for the iPhone 5 as well, because they were afraid of um, the fried apple team. Uh, they were afraid that a fried apple team might release a jailbreak for 32-bit, which um, if they dropped the iPhone 5, this uh, means the uh, jailbreak would have been for life. And therefore they didn't want that. Anyways, the... Um, the Wi-Fi related bug is actually pretty serious and I, I'm really happy Apple took the time to investigate and to make a, a new version of firmware for it to actually patch it because you wouldn't like somebody to run arbitrary code on your device remotely without even touching the device. So yeah, you can download the um, 10.3.1 version, but of course if you want to jailbreak you should stay on iOS 10.2.1 if you're not on 10.2 and if you're on 10.2 or 10.1.1 jailbroken already, do not update. But pay attention to the networks you're connecting to. Uh, this uh, Wi-Fi related thing might be uh, easy to trigger on a uh, hacked Wi-Fi network that you're connecting to, so pay attention always to the public networks you're connecting. And this is actually it guys, I really hope you liked this video and I really hope it was informative for you. Yeah, this is actually about the Pangu, it seems not to be as dead as we thought. And I'm going to link it in the description, the ZeroCon related thing and also the um, security content for the iOS 10.3.1. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, stay safe, peace out.